Hello, this is a picture frame hung on the wall in a very sloppy manner. How do we calculate the tensions in the string? There are three forces acting on this picture frame. There's the downward weight, there's the tension T1 on the left section of the string, uh, making an angle of theta1 with the vertical. And let's call the tension in the right section of the string T2. And this tension is of course acting along the string. Uh, making an angle of theta 2 with the vertical. Since the net force acting on the picture frame should be zero, these three forces should add up to zero and so they should form a closed triangle. So our vector triangle will start with the weight acting vertically downward and then we'll continue with T1 acting in this direction, making an angle of theta 1 with the vertical. After T1, we'll close off the triangle with T2, acting along this direction, making an angle of theta 2 with the vertical. So this is what our vector triangle is going to look like. So W, the weight, plus T1, plus T2, equals to 0. So just by a sketch of the vector triangle, we can already tell that the tension in the left section of the string um, is stronger than the tension in the this section of the string. So depending on what are the given values in the problem, um, the solution may involve the sine rule. So T1 over sine theta 2 is equals to T2 over sine theta 1 is equals to W over sine of this angle which is 180 degrees minus theta 1 minus theta 2. Or sometimes it may involve the cosine rule. So A square is B square plus C square minus 2BC cosine of this angle. Or sometimes you just uh, draw a scale diagram and then measure and then read off the answer. Personally, I prefer to solve this problem by resolving forces. You can form one equation by using the fact that horizontally, the horizontal forces should add up to zero. So horizontally, we have uh, the horizontal component of T1, which is T1 sine theta 1, which must balance the horizontal component of T2, which is T2 sine theta 2 because this guy's component is rightward, this guy's component is leftward, so they must match e each other. Uh, w, of course, is a vertical force and has no horizontal component. We can also form a second equation by using the fact that vertically, the forces should also add up to zero. So vertically, we have the vertical component of T1, which is T1 cos theta 1, together with the vertical component of T2, which is T2 cosine theta 2, so both of both T1 and T2 provide an upward vertical component which must balance the downward vertical component of weight, W. So by hook or by crook, you should arrive at the same answer. Um, but the underlying principle is the same, and that is net force must be zero. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!